where I can park. This is delivery. We're at the government of Canada building, which is actually my parole office. And, uh, yeah, we're not allowed to bring cameras inside, but I do need to make a little deliveries. I'm wondering if I can just park, put my hazards on. I'm Emily O'Brien. I was going to introduce you. Oh. <laughs> Emily O'Brien for Ooh. being here with me. Popcorn to these fine security guards. <laughs> and they're great. One more of these. Good. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Quick and easy. Hey, you are. Hey. I'm Ian. <laughs> I'm a teacher. It's <laughs> teacher. <laughs> Buying popcorn for my staff. <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go <laughs> Love it. I think it's hilarious. Oh, good. So Ian is actually featured in episode seven or eight of Carmelia yeah. Claims. Yeah. With a side order of teaching. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really smart. Sign of resiliency. Yeah. Yeah. And has ever like left out and saying, like if you're like left out of comic relief, or you choose not to like engage in comic and you're like, those people are just the ones that are No, and it's, it's contagious, too. right? Like when you were there, <laughs> a lot of people all enjoying themselves. Yeah. But you just take the spark, everybody wants to I know. Look how she's in the back, so they all look at the same way. Yeah. Negative. Yeah. 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 Until I come in the room. That's the thing called. No space for that. <laughs> wow. wow. And there's another rule. There's another rule that I've got to be called. Well, how about your it's protest? Yes. I don't want you to be late. Like I gotta go protest. Okay. I'll take some popcorn and help protest. Like okay. Okay. Cool. See ya. Bye. Nice to meet you. Nice Alice. to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet, nice to meet you. you. Thank you. It's a lovely place. It is. I gotta pee. You put it up. Dan, CTV Dan, I like made him put the clip online. It's all about overcoming adversity. Uh oh. I think we all make mistakes and we all have had to ask for forgiveness at some point in our life. It doesn't matter who you are. So I think uh, my ability to kind of tell a story is a way of um, asking for second chances, but also shedding light on why people do the things that they do so we can have empathy. A pop-up for a unique popcorn shop. Cons and Kernels was started by Emily O'Brien while she was in prison at Grand Valley Institution for Women. She was released a year ago and has been focusing on building her business. So O'Brien says she started this company after dealing with the fear of finding a job and finding stigma once released. She also hires others who may have been in trouble with the law, giving them a second chance. The pop-up is at 52 Regina Street until 8 tonight and is open between 8 Four and eight, rather, tomorrow. Woo! Yeah. Aww. Love it. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm thrilled that it went out. Now I can sell that to my mom. Hey, try this gingerbread house flavor. Okay. One cup of dill. Rosemary Farm. Morning. 
Everything's going well with you then? Mm -hmm. You're doing a really good job of self-promotion. Yeah. 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 24 hours a day. Yeah. You've got your contacts. Yeah. Well, if you don't, you find them. Mm -hmm. Good yeah. for you. Good yeah. for you. Some of them, these ones are essential yeah. oil, the Gen Pop is coconut oil. So Which Gen Pop? Gen Pop is in soda. <laughs> no, but what is it? Oh, it's um, coconut oil and sea salt. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So I have other flavors in here yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, that's a surprise. Oh, this is more I had, um, Oh, my, that's right. Mary Rose was cheese um, at the theater. It is. It is. Candy. Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Do you want to try the gingerbread? Gingerbread caramel corn. I think the caramel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just like brown sugar, butter. Yeah. Yeah. Cotton candy is like extra cotton candy. 